Yo, what is up, everybody? Um, another video here today on the channel. Um, you know, we're just driving here. It's fucking shitty ass road, but today's a, a pretty chill video. We uh, we got my fiance's car, so we're gonna change it up a little bit. Not the Infinity today, but my fiance's 2016 Scat Pack. Which do a little odd, but so 2016 Scat Pack. Uh, she got her back res wide body kit. Um, so we're gonna be putting that on today. So we'll kind of do a breakthrough or, you know, breakthrough rundown of the install on that wide body kit. Um, she didn't want to have it get painted because she's going to get her um, scat pack wrapped. Um, so stay tuned for that. It's going to look pretty fucking cool. So other than that, ignore the fucking lights on the dash. It's my, pretty sure my tire sensor uh, is out because I got brand new fucking tires and it says they're at 20 psi. So I have to get that shit fixed. And um, I finally got uh, my JB4 cable replacement coming in. Um, I didn't even know you could buy just a replacement cable, but I I snapped the cable because I went to go press my e-brake and I forgot the cable is wrapped around the the e-brake. And that shit just fucking snapped out of the OBD reader. So, order a new cable for that. So, hopefully the car will finally be running like it should be. I mean, it's been running fine. Um, I just don't think the JB4 map was, you know, it's still flashed to the ECU. Because I'm just not feeling it. But other than that, car's still running good. Um, you know, other than that. So, we'll just, um, you know, we'll just get right into the video of uh, installing the wide body kit. And... Um, hope y'all like it. So here we got a lot of shit in the garage, but so we got Lily Scat Pack 2016 6.4. 4 liter. So, she decided to get the Vic Res wide body kit. She's got the Demon Hood or Red Eye Hood, Hellcat Red Eye Hood. Um, so, we're going to wide body this thing and get her wrapped. She got her new wheels. As you can see, we got a fresh set of new tires. Got the fucking meats. The meats. Just got the goodies. Yup. So tools for install. Pretty much. Okay, need to jack your jack stands. Lever tool. Sandpaper. Some sandpaper. Adhesive, rough stuff, cut the fender, extra box of screws, tappers, tape to tape off the fender, and then we got the JV weld instead of the 3M tape. And then you never know. So you need yourself a good old grinder, grinding wheel, and so you can get to cutting. Alright, so after you lift the car up on jacks, take the wheels off, we're doing the front first. You're going to want to, you know, take all your pins out on the bumper so we can take this old bumper off and put the new one on so we're gonna put the new bumper on 
And then we'll move on to the the front fenders and you know get to cutting. So let's uh let's get the bumper on. So the bumper comes off with some gentle touches, you know. The one thing you'll have is a couple of rivets, drill those out, one bolt, and then you just start prying. Don't forget there's a couple of bolts in here and on the other side as well. So you start prying, prying, but the one thing, uh, that should not happen. Um, oh, 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 shiver my timbers! That just fell from somewhere. Oh, yeah. Not too sure what it is, but um, we're gonna, you know, go from there. We'll uh, we'll start the car and make sure it's running fine. I think when her car got worked on, they just left a fucking, you know, obviously just left a fucking piece hanging, and it just fell when we uh, pushed some pressure and tried to take the bumper off. So bumper's off. And um, after that, you know, we'll just disconnect all the wiring for the flood light, fog lights, and um, we'll get the new bumper in and um, get ready to get in. So, one thing after you take everything off, we will have to take this off. There's a couple of push pins on top and on bottom that should just come off pretty easy. I think the Challenger just looks goofy with uh, no bumper. It, uh, it looks like an ugly fish. Like, well, it's like it has teeth. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but don't don't take your bumper off, Challenger folks. You you look you look retarded. Right? <laughs> Here's a new bumper. As you can tell, it's not painted. We'll get it wrapped soon. So before you put the bumper on, remember this piece here to take off the old bumper here. Pretty easy to come in, just you know, pull down on these, pops out, and then you'll just rivet these guys back in. One, two, and should be ready to go. And then, if you want your side markers to light up, remember to grab the cable as well. And we'll feed those to the side markers there. So, so far so good. Later. All right, y'all. Well, day one is complete. It's mainly putting the bumper on, and um, getting that all sorted out. So we got the bumper on. We got the pieces on to, you know, put the actual fenders on. So we'll do that tomorrow. So everything's pretty much ready to go. Um, we left out the screws because that's what we're cutting into the... We're going to see if we have to cut the fenders because, I mean, it's close, but... This one's closer than the other side. Yeah, this one. This one's closer. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we do, in fact, have to cut it or not, but... So, also, day one is complete, so we will cut two. Tomorrow. Y'all need weather stripping. Don't forget that. Peace. Tomorrow for sure. So, I'm currently on the way to the Harbor Freight 
to get some more push bins because uh, I don't know what they do on the Challengers, but the push bins that they got are just weak and just fucking snap with barely any fucking pressure. Um, so, gotta go to Harbor Freight, pick up uh, some more push tabs, a couple more rivets. We should be good to go. So, other than that, just picking up some tools, get back. Um, Lily should be back, and then you know we'll, we'll get to cutting some fenders. So, we're also gonna drop her car off, or at least her tires and wheels off to get those tires uh, mounted on her new wheels. So then we can throw those fuckers right on when we uh, finish the wide body kit. So. Shouldn't be too crazy day of install. Um, I think we got the hard part out of the way, which was getting the bumper on. So today will be, you know, getting the fenders on, cutting those, and um, you know, doing some adhesive. So today we actually went and took the wheels to get um, tires mounted on, and just to see how um, the wheels and tires would fit on the car without the flares, and see if there'd be any rubbing. So. Here's the car now, as you can tell, the bumper. And we got the trim pieces on. We got it taped out to put some um, bonding agent. So the wheels actually came out pretty, pretty good. Um, so the only thing was that here, there really is not a lot of rubbing. Um, it really just rubbed in this trim piece. I cut this back with a sawzall because this this trim piece actually hangs down about half an inch and it was barely rubbing on on that so instead of actually cutting the fenders um, you know with a grinder I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that and install the flares and I think we're gonna be fine because we went and drove around and um, no rubbing issues really so I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm going to take the Sawzall and go from this third screw over, I'm going to cut up, cut this piece out down to this third screw here as well, and cut this, just this vinyl trim piece out here, um, and go from there. The back, really, the back, really not going to have any rubbing issues, I mean we got a little over two fingers um, and on this trim piece there's a little bit of rubbing right here on this trim piece but really really nothing so um, we're just gonna go ahead and just not cut the fenders and the metal here's how the wheels look without the fenders as you can see uh, she'd be sticking out about an inch not bad but these wheels do look really freaking good um, so we're going to go ahead, uh, put the adhesive promoter on, um, we're going to tape out each wheel well, I'm going to cut out <clears throat> this wheel over here on that trim piece, and we're going to, you know, start getting these, um, fenders on. So, other than that, <clears throat> we're going to see how this goes without cutting the fenders. A lot of people end up cutting the wheel well and the fenders out, so I think we can do it without doing that, really. I'm having a hard time understanding why you'd need to um, we went and drove around and you know went down brick road nothing so we're gonna go ahead and try this without doing that step and see how she comes out so other than that um, let's get to it So we got fender one done, so as you can see, 
lot of tape to hold that bitch up. This one, recommend putting this on, then the light, and then JB Weld adhesive that corner there and tape it, and you're pretty good. So, move on to the back fender. Hmm. So we got some plastic weld epoxy. As you can see, we are syringing that on all the way on the top of the fender flare, all the way down. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. All right, y'all. Well, that was a that was a long fucking install. So two days. Um, going back and forth, getting fucking shit, but we got it pretty much done. Um, today we we got the wheels and tires balanced as you guys saw. And then we came back and you know put the fender flares on for the wide body kit itself. So other than that, um, really honestly, if you can get someone to install this shit, just fucking do it, dude. Um, you know it's a pain in the ass trying to trying to get that shit, especially on the Hellcat or on the Challengers. This top piece here, it, it goes up on the body line and it curves up. So it doesn't want to fucking stay. So, you know, because it's straight and it doesn't want to stay bent. So, as you can see, a shit ton of fucking tape to, you know, glue that puppy down. Um, so, other than that, really, it's just a shit ton of tape. This is a pain in the ass. <clears throat> That the rears were actually not too bad. Honestly, the rears weren't too freaking bad. They actually did not need a lot of pressure, but we went ahead and just put a lot of tape on there. Um, the back piece is a little funny. If you didn't get the diffuser, it doesn't want to sit straight. Um, so. I would recommend just taping the shit out of it, but the rears were actually pretty simple. <clears throat> we'll go around and get a front shot. So there's the front. I mean, it, it looks really fucking mean. I mean, from just a regular body scat pack to, you know, a demon looking scat pack now. But same thing. Um, these fronts were just really a pain in the ass. The bumper, same thing. Um, as you guys know, bumpers are always a pain in the ass to deal with, but, um, you know, it came out good. You know, doing it ourselves, first time doing a wide body kit on any car for the two of us. Me and myself personally, I mean, I've done down pipes, coilovers, <clears throat> you know, all that shit. But, you know, wide body kit, first, first time for me. Um, definitely don't think I'll do it again, but, um, so, but this thing was a lot frustrating. <laughs> it took a lot more time than what we anticipated, so I didn't really get enough videos on the application. But essentially what we did, because these bottom pieces clip into that trim piece, I'd be first um, fasten that into the fender. And on the edges of the fender flares, we sanded down, and then we used <clears throat> Um, a mixture of epoxy and high high heat JD JB weld. Um, so it it's really tricky. A lot of people use 3M tape and have issues with it. Um, other people, you know, use the JB weld and where it was fine. This one's just a little weird. We use JB weld, and this side in particular did not want to hold it. Kept just coming back and. People use duct tape. I've never been a fan of using duct tape on paint because it just, you know, it can bring up paint. So, you know, we, we stuck with the blue tape. They finally st started staying down. So we'll, we'll pull the tape off tomorrow and see how she looks. I'll do a, I'll show a clip of all the tape pulled off. And then, you know, after that, we're gonna wrap this thing and, you know, get her, uh, get her looking all uniform in one color, but, um, she is uh 
she is looking pretty fucking good I'll tell you that so I know Lily will be pretty stoked once it's once it's wrapped and you know finished out so but these are the wheels too the bike res wheels 20 by 11 negative 2.5 offset so she's running 295 35 20 on the tires all the way around um, she, she's not planning on lowering it at all so we'll stay stock height and um, you know not rub the one thing too on our, on our install is we actually did not cut the fender um, we cut the trim piece and that was it and I don't think we're gonna have any rubbing issues so if you guys order these bike res wheels with the bike res um, wide body kit I, I honestly don't think you'll have to cut the fenders like other people did it seems like a waste of time and potential rusting issues and shit like that um, we drove around for 10 minutes <clears throat> didn't rub at all so I think we're we're gonna be straight so other than that super pleased super pain in the ass we're pretty fucking beat but um, I think it'll be worth it in the long run you know it looks fucking good and you know we'll go from there three days later all right y'all so a couple days fucking later obviously different outfit but um so just doing a little update after a couple days of the wide body kit being installed on lily's car um so as you could probably guess there's been some just some pieces like the smaller pieces on the bottom on the bottom pieces of the back fenders um where i said that it's pretty stiff um you know it's just kind of hard for it to get adhesive on um those keep coming loose so we just have to keep retrying to get it stuck in so that's been kind of a pain um but other than that there's just a little bit of rubbing in the fronts but um i think all we have to do we haven't done it yet just because we were so beat the first day um on the fenders themselves where they stick out <clears throat> and then go in um i think i just need to cut that off that plastic piece off to give the wheel enough room to go up and we should be straight um because there's another half inch to three quarter inch in there like it's not rubbing crazy enough where it like is beating up the fender like i can feel it right now and it's it's not terribly bad so um <clears throat> other than that really not a lot of issues i'll show you here off the camera so in the bag like the pieces i was saying it's these pieces down here they for some reason they just don't want to adhere adhesive well so those have been just kind of pain in the ass probably want to set, set a couple screws here like we did um but the piece that i was talking about in the front <clears throat> where we cut back the trim piece here all the way back to there we just need to cut this out here i think we just need to cut that out and that's going to free up at least a half inch of space to get the wheel you know enough room so other than that it's not too crazy where it's like stopping her from driving she's been driving all week <clears throat> so other than that she does look pretty fucking good so um as you can see we're still kind of messing with some things um this piece was kind of popping loose so we just got some pressure on it got some more gd weld um but other than that just a lot of tape a lot of gb weld and you know you got yourself a nice looking wide body kit so in the video earlier in the video i stated she had 295s all the way around so we actually got some different size tires because the 295s in the back were actually um pretty old so we swapped those out to 305 35 20 as you can see there are some meats so other than that we're looking pretty good so as always guys um you know this was a long video long fucking install it was two days full days one day was the bumper the next day was the fenders and the the second day was kind of a long day because it was like two hours of the fucking tire shop getting the shit mounted and stuff so other than that it really wasn't that bad i mean i don't think i'd do this shit again just because it was a pain in the ass <laughs> so 
And when you have someone else install it, they fuck it up. You know, they gotta they gotta fix it. So if it's fucked up, you gotta fix it, and it's just it's just a pain in the ass. So <clears throat> other than that, um, the next plan for the scat pack for Lily is to get it wrapped. Um, I won't tell you the color. We'll keep that a secret uh, up until she gets that wrapped, and we'll do a reveal video. So um, other than that, if y'all like the video. I know I didn't get a lot of, you know, actually installing the fenders, but it's actually pretty straightforward once you get the adhesive on there. Stick it in, tape, you're good to go. Um, so we were just pretty fucking being trying to get the shit done, so I didn't record every single thing. So apologize for that, but if y'all got questions or anything, hit the comments, leave your questions or anything. Anything you want to see with Lily's car, um, you know, leave some recommendations down below. And if y'all like the video, like subscribe appreciate the love and support always i'm um, trying to just grow the channel more and more i'm um, just trying to get more content out there of, you know what we're doing so we're getting a new place here in the next month or so so we're pretty stoked for that um and then i'm saving up to get the upgraded turbos installed and tuned and we'll get a bunch of fucking videos of that shit because that shit's gonna be sick so um <clears throat> other than that that's it for today's video um again like subscribe comment what y'all want to see next appreciate the love support peace